What is up, guys? It's me, the true J1 Digger again, and today we have another video. Today, this time is a review video of the uh, Monster Jam Spin Master Series 35. Um, so this is a series that came out um, maybe a few months ago. It unfortunately came it arrived in my place, you know, in, in my local WalMarts or, or Targets, like a few. Um, few months ago or not a few months but like maybe like a month ago basically so um yeah it, it you know my uh, my area is very late on bringing the series in and all that and of all of it you know right now i think it's right now series 38 right now for some people i am right now still in series 35 and where i am so um yeah uh but the trucks that we have um here in front of you are the trucks that i needed from series 35 and which are the grave digger uh if I'm, this is street um street treats grave digger right here we also got the retro monster Mon dalmatian so happy to get this one in my collection and as well we also got the avenger which this one is called the overcharged uh series basically is the avenger i have also have the blue thunder as well too so yeah and also and uh yeah the avenger looks cool but we're gonna see how well it is in the package um you know, they all look great, you know, we do, there are other trucks that, you know, I feel like I wanted to get in my collection, you know, I kind of want to get the Grave Digger uh, Green Ghost. I was thinking about getting it, but I decided not to get it. And also for like other trucks, like I already have Thunder Wars, you know, I don't need another Sun Digger, Bakugan, Octonator, Soldier Forge, well maybe I could have got Soldier Forge because of the purple, pink rims, but I didn't want to get it, but uh, because... I didn't want to, like, these are, like, the three trucks I mainly, 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 mainly needed in my collection from this series, you know, so, um, yeah. So, uh, without further ado, guys, we're gonna go open these guys up, and we're gonna go see a little bit more closer to these guys, these trucks, so, um, yeah, without further ado, let's do it. Alrighty, guys, they are out of the package, and right now, up now we're gonna see them up close and personal, see how they are on all that. So um yeah. So the first truck that we will take a look first is the Treat Street Grave there. But as you know, uh Halloween is uh next week when I upload this, upload this video. So why not review the Treat Grave Digger since Halloween is next week? So yeah. So first impression, Grave Digger uh treats looks amazing, he looks awesome, you know. I really like that everything on the in, on the grave digger is all candy, ice cream, you know, waffles. I think maybe pop. I think cupcakes. Basically, all the candies you can think in your head. So um, yeah. Um, you look at the top here. We do have, of course, you know, all the the, the places that used to be flames. They're now are all ice cream. Basically, we got vanilla, chocolate, and I'm assuming that's strawberries. Same here, grave digger. Uh, it's all green. And you see the snow cone and, and candy canes on the back of those snow, not snow cone, but um, ice cream cone, basically, the for, for, for messed up right there. Um, yeah, but also the body is plastic. The body is plastic. It is not metal. I thought it was metal, but it's not. Only the bottom is metal, basically. So, and also the wheels are also uh, see-through as well, too. So, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we got a problem right there. It looks like... Uh, look at that right there. Looks like that is popping now. Let me see if I could try to put that back in. But um, yeah. But uh, honestly, Grave Digger uh, Treat Street, it, it looks phenomenal. It looks great. Uh, I know there are also other trucks that are doing the same thing as well, as well as Grave Digger. So I will try to go after them as well too, if I'm correct. If they if they're doing it. Oh, we got a sour punch. Oh, look at that. Look at that right there. Look at that right there, guys. You see that? That's, is that looks like a sour patch kid right there. It looks like a Sour Patch Kid right there. Right there, you see it? You see that Sour Patch Kid? I don't know if you can see it, but it looks like a Sour Patch Kid right there. You know, that's the only candy I see right there that are that's well I no see. Oh, also we just got another one right here too, but yellow right there. There's another Sour Patch Kid right there. But um, again, it looks great. It looks amazing. Uh, I wish I could grab a Grave Digger actually to see. Actually, let me see if I can do it right now. Let me grab a Grave Digger. Alright, I found a grave digger that we could kind of compare a little bit. The only problem about almost all these Spitmaster graves is that they're all blurry on the side, so we can't like compare them all of it. But if we look closely on these sides, you can see where the head of Grave Digger is, of course. It is the ghost face basically. You know, again we have again the I'm assuming that is a um I'm assuming that is frost frost on the on for the head while we have of course the regular head as well too. And you see all the tombstones and all that on this grave digger 
Well, this one again has candy. Look at the top. You can see, if you look at the top, you can see we have again the ice cream cone, while the other one right there has the skull. Skull with the having the two um, uh, ribs, um, leg bones on the mouth, while the grave digger right here has it on the back uh, candy canes. So, um, yeah, but again, if you can see, there are some differences, you know, from the you look at the flames and all of that, you know, but um, yeah, we'll put it over there. But again, grave digger, um, treat street looks amazing, looks great. Um, cannot wait to also go after the other trucks if they are other trucks like this one, you know. So, um, yeah, but again, great job for Spin Masters on doing this one. And again, cannot wait to go after um, more of them. And I feel like a lot of you guys should try to go get this one in your collection because it looks amazing. Alrighty, next, we got a truck that people were so happy that Spin Master did, did do it. And that is the Retro Monster Mount Dalmatian, the one that we always. Uh, known for when it, when it made its debut. Sadly for me, I never got a chance to see this truck uh, in real life. You know, in this body style, the only truck that I saw in this boss body style was Monster Mount. That was the only truck I ever saw in this body style. I had never saw Dalmatian nor Rottweiler in this body style, except the new body, except the new one. So, um, yeah. But again, uh, again, what a great job from Spin Masters on doing the retro dimension i think they did a great job on it it looks exactly i think like it was in real life you know but the body for dimension monster run and monster run rottweiler uh we're all the same that were for this uh mercury willies i think it's called um they're all they're all the same they were the same and all that you know so the body size and everything is not going to change so um yeah but again they did a great job on all of it and all that you know, the ears look great. The tail look great. The the tongue, not so great. I wish they could have bring in the, the old tongue for the for the Dalmatian, except this pointy tongue, which is like pointy, while the uh, original had a flat tongue. It had a flat tongue, you know. Uh, I wish they could have do that, but hopefully maybe if they do again, this body again for Dalmatian, the other trucks, they could probably do the, the flatter tongue instead of that one. So hopefully that does happen in the future. But um, again, overall, it looks like phenomenal Dalmatian, you know, I don't see no um, differences, you know, like I could go try to grab my Dalmatian from my collection, but I don't know where it is exactly, to be honest with you. So I'm not going to try to go after it. So, uh, but again, great job. Kudos to Spin Masters. Uh, I think they do have a Rottweiler, I think, for this one too, in this body. Uh, if they do, I will try to find it because I have Monster Mode already and now I got Dalmatian. Now I need the Rottweiler to try to collect the trio, basically of the mercury body so um yeah and hopefully maybe they could do they could use this mercury body for um, other trucks like the junkyard dog you know that's one truck that people are, are really really want spin master to do and also like other trucks i think if i'm not mistaken you know body schemes so um yeah but again kudos to spin masters great to them and cannot wait you know uh what the next um truck that will be that are going to use in his body so very excited for the future for um for spin master so yeah and now the last one, which I think this is called full charge. I think it's called. Oh, let me. This full charge. E overcharge. This is overcharge, and this is the overcharge Avenger. Now I do have an overcharge for a few trucks. I know I have Blue Thunder and all and all that. So um yeah, and first impression for the Avenger, it looks amazing. Uh, kudos again to Spin Masters on doing this one and all that. Um. Avenger will always do look amazing when they do uh, paint schemes for Avenger on, on toys, you know, and usually sometimes they usually become real life, you know, so we could see this truck, uh, which I'm holding right now, becoming real life one day in the future, probably not sure when, but it will one day become a real one in the, fu in the future, guys. So very excited to see if we do see this body in real life, because I think it will look amazing in real life um again it looks amazing it looks great the paint the paint all the yellow the white purple flames looks great you know um looks like we do have something here what is that right there well it looks like it looks like a duck i don't know why it looks like a duck from my angle from my view i don't know maybe you guys could if you have this it looks like a duck to me but if it is a dog, then that's part of a good way because, you know, the truck is yellow and all that, so it makes sense, you know. So, um, yeah. But again, Avenger looks amazing. You know, there isn't too much sponsors except this one and Monster Jam, I think. Um, I think the other Avengers of Spin Masters has more sponsors than this one, I think, if I'm not mistaken. I could probably check on that. 
uh, when I end this video. But uh, yeah, that's the only sponsor he it has right here for the Avenger right here, the uh, can, which I think he is partnering with them. So um, yeah, uh, we do have one problem that we do have pink ships on the side here of the Avenger. We have one right here and one down here. Now I didn't touch. Now I didn't drop this truck and all that. It just arrived when I got it, you know, from Walmart. So I guess maybe when it was when it was in the when it was. <laughs> When it was, you know, in in the process of being painted and all that, probably when it landed on other bodies of the Avenger, it probably got pink ship. And probably that's why it got that probably maybe. I don't know, because I don't know how they do in the company, how they make this and all that. So, uh, uh, yeah. But again, it looks amazing. Kudos to Supermasters, you know, and I cannot wait to see if we do see this Avenger um, become real life. Because I have a feeling it, it might it might become real life, but again, we don't know if it will or not. So only time will tell if it will or not. So um yeah. But again, kudos to the masters, great job to them. And I cannot wait to also get the other um the other full charge trucks as well. But I know there's others as well, so cannot wait to get them. But again, great job to the masters on making that one. But um again, guys, um that's it today's video, guys. That is it for today's video of reviewing the three uh trucks from the mix series 35 of this year's Spin Masters. You know, again, Spanish did a great job. Um, now I got to try to find Mix Series 36 because I really want to try to get overboard. I really want to get that one so badly. Hopefully they do or they, they are arrived in my local stores at Walmart and Target. If they aren't, I'll be heartbroken. But um, fingers crossed, you know, hopefully they do arrive in my local stores. So, um, yeah. Um, again, uh, next week, uh, I think there will be another review video. There's so many things happening uh, right now for these next few weeks, I think. Um, so because um, I'm backed up, me and my class is backed up, you know, for a lot of things. So we have to get back on track, you know, and we have like exams and all of that. So I need to really focus on school. Well, not school, college, basically, you know. So, um, yeah, so I won't be doing next week was supposed to be a Monster Jam showdown video, but I'm going to do a review video. That's it for next week. So, um, yeah, stay tuned for that one next week, guys. But, um, yeah, but anyways, guys, um, thank you so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. We are so close to hitting 500 subscribers. That will be awesome to hit 500 by the end of this year. It will be great. It will be awesome. So, help me with that, guys. It will be awesome for that and appreciate it. So, um, yeah, but again, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Um... Again, if you again if you enjoyed, hit the like, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment if you want to. Uh, so yeah, again, thank you much for watching the video, guys. And as always, I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye.